City Council President Theo Gregory moderated a forum on the ideas of freedoms in America. The Freedom Forum explored the difference and gap between freedoms that have been created and are pursued as ideals and the actual experience of freedom today. In a, in a democracy, uh, freedom is a fundamental principle. And, uh, and we have to understand uh, how freedoms have grown over the years and how they've been constrained over the years. And I think you're going to hear that kind of discussion here. United States Senator Chris Coon said that while many freedoms have been obtained in this country, there is still effort required to go further. This is an important conversation about freedom, a conversation as part of the celebration of Black History Month here at Hanover Presbyterian, but also a conversation for all of us in the Wilmington community and in Delaware to reflect on the steady march towards freedom and the barriers that remain towards the realization of freedom for everyone here in Wilmington and in our country. So what does it mean to have a dream? What does it mean to secure economic freedom? And what does it mean to execute that aspiration? Or better yet, and I think perhaps a fair question, particularly as it relates to the city of Wilmington, what does it mean for low-income black and brown boys and low-income black and brown men to dream and execute those aspirations within the context of the United States of America in the 21st century? What does it mean for them to dream. Six panelists, including City Council Member Maria Cabrera, shared their perspective on the difference between the freedoms we aspire to and the freedoms that are realized. Now look at us today. We're fighting over the minimum wage. Mm. People are not living with a fair living wage. The average is $15 a person in the country. In Delaware, it's $10.22. Wow. You're not free. You are still in chain when you're not able to live that American dream in the home of the free and the brave. These people were fighting for this in the 60s. We're still fighting for this now. Reverend Andrew Jacob, whose Hanover Presbyterian Church hosted the event, expressed his hope that those in attendance would be upset with what they heard, but would use that anger as a catalyst for the future. Frederick Douglass once wrote, those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are those who want crops without plowing up the ground. And so my hope, my prayer, my vision for this day is that we get a little agitated so that we would become agitators for freedom.